Hello YouTubers, back for another nostalgic review. I don't know what episode it is, either episode 8 or 9. I'll let to figure out, because I haven't done these videos in a while. So I'm going to do a review on the the Daypole Doctor Who range, which was a pretty iconic Doctor Who toy range. Like, basically this range was basically that started the action figure line for Doctor Who products. Uh... Which later character options was heavily influenced by Daypole for their figures. And uh, they would later go go on to it. Basically, Daypole started in 1987. Which was around the same year McGoy started his uh, time as the Doctor. And the range continued throughout the 90s, which it became... It was very iconic and it was very big in the 90s. And then it got cancelled in 2002, which is where... Due to Daypole losing license to the franchise. So yeah, that that's explains the history of Daypole. Now, I'm going to do a, a review on a figure from the Daypole range, which is regarded as one of my favourite figures. Which, of course, is the Slyurian. Which is seen from Doctor Who and the Slyurians from John Pertwee's first season. Um, basically, which I really love this design of the Slyurians. Who wouldn't? It It is such a... F such... It's just really out there. It just looks like a big, giant, giant sea lizard. From the depths of the caves. Which I see it as the most iconic look to the Slyurians. Uh, now basically, this... The Daypole range in, was basically just as... Was 3 inch scale, so you could have them... Photographing next to Star Wars figures, etc. Sorry about that. Just, that's just to say my battery's got 2%. I know. I'll get to after finishing this review on the Sly Urian. Now, as you know, with most figures... Um, like, I don't know if Daypole has been watching the show enough, but there is a lot of failure attempts in Daypole's career. Like, like um, the Fur Doctor being far too tall and having a ginormous head and huge broad shoulders completely being out of proportion or Dav the first release of Davros having two hands, canine being painted green or the fourth doctor without a scarf. Uh, basically this is one of them. Now as you know the, the slow urines in the show were like roughly the same height as, as John Pertwee's doctor, um, the third doctor they were roughly the same height. So they were actually fairly, they were actually quite taller. Um, but, but if I can have them standing next to, like, let's just have him standing next to, like, the Cyberman and the Fur Doctor. Um, you can tell that, you can tell that he, he is just, like, completely ridiculously short. Like, ridiculously, really short compared to them. Like, you can tell that, that the Fur Doctor and the Cyberman, who are basically one of the, the tallest figures in the range, along with the Sultanans, the Traken, the Traken, and uh, the, the, the Ice Warriors. So, yeah, even the Daleks. Even the Daleks are shown to be slightly taller than the, and then the Sly Urian figures. So, yeah. But overall, well, its height scale was completely out of scale, but it's pretty and really good accurate. It's pretty really accurate to how it looks in the show, to, compared to most Daypole figures. Like if we go through detail, it's got like the, like the scales on its feet, on its legs and arms. It's got like the head skull, like the big ears that stick out, and it's got the red dot up in the center on the center part of its head, and if you turn around, it's got like these big bumps, uh, which just show on, on its back, and to show what's like, to show that like, it's some sort of reptile species. Um, articulation wise, it's, it, it's arm it can do like a 360. It has bowl jointed arm, it's bowl jointed. So yeah, it goes up and down, sideways, forwards and backwards, so yeah. Enjoyed it. The legs uh, can go up and down. Can the le the thighs can do a 360, but are prevented by like the like the hands if you just move them back. Um, the uh, legs, uh, the feet, 
the the legs can do like go up and down like a kick so yeah um the the head can do can do a 360 can do a 360 so yeah can do a 360 and I'll do some brief history about the Sly Urians. Now, as you know, they were the original owners of the Earth. They originally lived on the Earth, unfortunately, before mankind was an ape. And they they are the cousins to the Sea Devils. Unfortunately, uh, the, the Sea Devils and the Sly Urians had, their, had a huge fallout. And they, and, those two, and they just went their separate paths. Um, basically, a lot of people see that the Slidereans that the Slidereans are marked as evil, evil, but that's technically not true, because if you watch Doctor and the Slidereans with John Pertwee's first episode, first, um, um, in John Pertwee's first season, they there's actually some of them that are actually surprisingly good. Some of them are actually surprisingly good, good, and they're on the human side. And then you got the Warriors of the Deep, where they're they want to help the humans fight against. Um, if you if you also watch like Warriors of the Deep, which is during Peter Davison's final season, you can tell that they actually want to help the humans fight against the Sea Devils. So yeah, and um, yeah, and then basically after the class, and basically sadly that marked their last appearance in the classic series. And after that, they just vanished and were just never seen again until. 2010 with Matt Smith's first season, Cold War, Cold War, and Hungry Earth, and they actually shared some very similar, and just like like in Doctor Who and Slayurians, there were some of them that were actually on the they were actually on the good they were actually good and wanted to help the humans, while there were some that were on that fight against the whole rebellious of not wanting to be fun being being allies with the humans. So yeah, it's a really interesting story. Uh, which I really, which I kind of liked, and and then there was a there was a there was one Sly Urian that went her own path, known as Vistria, who allied with the Doctor along with Strax and a human. She got married to a, a female human, and she was usually in and out of, and she was in like usually in some episodes of series six, seven, and was last seen in one episode of series eight, and after that she was just never seen again. So there, so there you have it, there you have it, there you have it. So that's basically the his, the brief history of the Slyurians in the no series. Now, if you want to have it um, standing next to to a more ac to a more Doctor that, look, that is more in accurate scale with it, uh, you could try the fourth Doctor, if, as you can see, like having them standing like front to front, they're in really accurate scale, standing behind. Oh, Side by side, they are in really accurate scale. Here's a stand of them standing together. They are really in accurate scale because the fourth, cause that kind of makes perfectly good sense. So overall, I actually kind of like this figure. I hope someday that Character Options will release a five-inch scale figure of a of a classic series, a Slayurian figure. Because I just really love this design. It's such a fantastic figure. Like. Like, where is it? Like, fans were begging to see a classic series like you're in figure in 5-inch scale form. And it just never happened. I just hope for this year they'll release a, a classic series Sly Urian. Like, who knows? They might... if And if it sells really well, who knows? We might even get, like, a... A Warriors of the Deep box set with an 80s Sly Urian. A Sea Devil General. And, um... And, um... A, sw an un a swimsuit fifth doctor figure having another variant of the fifth doctor figure would be nice so who knows um i also they also an and also eagles moss who does like the um the static display figuring collection are actually doing like a a slight an 80 sly urian from warriors of the deep for the davison era so that's actually really good that really great i so I just hope for this year that character options, if you're listening, please do a 5-inch scale Sly Urian classic series Sly Urian figure, because it will mean a lot to classic series like me and other fans. Like, So please, 
please do a classic series slayering figure. So that's it for me. Um, later now, bye and not forever.